case you were wondering, it didn't look like there was too many bees that ended up dying. Um, and the ones that did looks like they got, um, you can see they they're probably got a lot of um, sugar on their wings and stuff that they can, literally can't get off uh, because of other bees climbing on top of them and they collected on them and they're struggling a little bit. So they'll probably end up dying there. But geez, really, I mean, I'm surprised, but these wooden floats really worked in there and there's really not that many at all. in there. There wasn't many wasps that came in, in, the, in that frenzy, but uh, they'll come now that uh, there's fewer honeybees in here. But yeah, they have the ones that have the all that stuck to them. They got the biggest problem. Not too bad. This is my uh, first attempt at open feeding. Uh, I just wanted to see what it was like. You know me, I like my experiments. September 17th, you know, I, all my hives were pretty well fed up uh, to wait. Um, I was pretty happy with it, but my bees just seemed voracious and were going after anything that they could find uh, that had any little bit of sugar on it. And I kind of wanted to see how they'd react. Um, any kind of dripping of buckets or anything, there's just hundreds of them all over it. And as you can see, they just literally, this time of year, don't stop. Uh, trying to bring in that last little bit of, of nectar, uh, in this case, syrup. But, um, you know, I'm pretty well done uh, feeding my bees for the, for the year. It's, uh, you know, it only got up to 60 today. Fall is upon us pretty much. Uh, we're going to get some warm days yet, I'm sure. But I'm pretty happy with... Um, you know, the condition of my hive, uh, the size of my hives, the only thing that worries me a little bit, I see I notice in the morning when my bees don't get going, um, the wasps and the hornets uh, can get going. And I've seen them actually go into the hives when my bees aren't active and they just don't even hesitate. They just go right into the entrance with no resistance whatsoever because my bees are still in a little bit of a cluster. And uh, this time of the year, you can get robbed out real quick by a a very, very strong wasp colony or a hornet colony or something like that, and they'll go after the larvae and everything. So uh, fight to the death kind of deal. You come back after a weekend gone and find hundreds and hundreds of dead bees. But uh, yeah, you know, uh, real happy. Got my nukes pretty well fed up here. Um, these are these two last, um, I got four over four in here. I, I had, um, you know, two frame mating nuke, which I had mated queens at the end of August. These are them right here. I added uh, a shook swarms um, to both to give them a boost. Noted the queen started laying on the 12th of September. Uh, so they got a ways to go, but giving them the boost of bees allows that queen to lay a lot more. Um, I have, I have, I don't don't want these these hives to get uh, plugged out at all. So I've stopped feeding them. These jars are actually just sitting here. They're not. They're empty. But uh, they're still bringing in pollen. I noticed that today. I I, uh, I put out some pollen sub for them, and a few bees uh, went into the pollen sub all day long, but uh, not anything like what they were doing with the with the sugar syrup. But again, with the sugar syrup, you know, it's an experiment. I've never done it before. I really do like the bucket feeding or the or the uh, high feeder um, feeding for my full frame boxes. Uh, the uh, frame feeders uh, benefit is that you don't get robbing. Uh, 
that occurs when you might use a bucket feeder and when there's leaking like this uh, it does set off uh, not only you know they're robbing around there around the uh, rim there it also brings them to the hive so that they might end up stealing it down here you know I can never tell if that's robbing or that's just bees going in it is what it is but uh, overall I'm uh, I'm pretty happy with my with my hives here um, you know I got them all pretty well uh, insulated fed up and um, you know they're they're um, very very vibrant colonies you know maybe with the exception of the, these hives which got a late start so uh, uh, hopefully the queens can um, you know get going you know it was an absolutely gorgeous fall day today and I stayed outside all day just looking for a reason to be outside and that's part of the reason why I uh, I filmed uh, this it was just an idea that came to me you know I like my experiments uh, but um, one of the things that um, that I was curious about and I, I th there's no way for me to know this but you know you hear about um, uh, you know the like I was mentioning about the the uh, frame feeders you know it, it, it doesn't allow for robbing and you hear about um, you know weaker colonies getting robbed out and that weaker colony might be mite infested and then they pick up the mites and bring them over to their strong colony and away they go um, I always wondered if maybe open feeding you saw that frenzy those bees were piling on top of each other how easy it would be to transfer mites from B to B you know um, and then have them you know maybe a mite free colony all of a sudden picks up a bunch of mites and brings them into their colony and away it goes you know and then all of a sudden you're in trouble in the middle middle winter but you know right now I'm pretty happy with um, I don't think I got any beekeepers around me here uh, in town here so I don't have to worry about anybody else's bees infecting mine with mites but and I'm pretty happy with my fall treatment plan uh, that I have uh, right now um, now uh, going into uh, going into uh, winter here I'm gonna change things up a little bit um, I have my hives here I have 13 hives here I have uh, nine at the farm and uh, I think I am going to attempt to do another experiment about upper upper venting and I think the hives at the farm I'm gonna leave open vented and these I'm going to not vent just gonna see how it works uh, you know you always run a risk of something going wrong but um, I want to see if it's necessary you know I always say all beekeeping is local uh, but uh, I think when it comes to feeding your hives uh, I think that would probably work anywhere uh, open feeding or bucket feeding or frame feeding I think it, it probably would work it work anywhere uh, so I won't I won't end like I normally do saying all beekeeping is local but um, you guys have a fantastic day um, get your bees ready for uh, for a long winter till next time take care